Hey everyone, Tim here from Quasar Science. Today, we're doing a quick breakdown about LED walls versus Quasar Science arrays for lighting actors. Ready? Let's go. LED walls are only RGB. At 6500 Kelvin daylight, they have an SSI of 21. The lack of cyan and ember spectrum makes skin appear artificial and unflattering. With the RGBX color system of the Rainbow Series lights, they have an SSI of 72 at 6500 Kelvin daylight. So know what that means? No more lobster lighting! Yes, the spiky spectrum of the LED wall artificially accentuates the red pigment in skin tones. LED walls are excellent display instruments, not lighting instruments. A two foot by three and a half foot area from a 500 nit LED wall displaying max white would output 13 and a half foot candles at five feet. This 406 array of six R100s with the same dimensions outputs up to 330 foot candles. That is more than 24 times the amount of output at the same distance. This means that when you need an exposure of 330 foot candles, this LED wall has to be one foot away or one and a half feet away with a thousand nit wall versus this RR and R2 array that can be five feet away comfortably. The output makes it a more practical solution, allowing your actors more freedom of movement. Presumably, you're using an LED wall to get that interactivity. The one and a half inch pixels of the RR and R2 provide it. In large arrays, this allows for a lighting solution that matches the interactivity from the LED wall. High spectrum color rendition, high output, all with pixelation. And the Rainbow Series nails all these at a much lower cost versus additional sections of LED wall. To learn more, go to quasarscience.com slash virtual production. And thanks for tuning in.